Am I the asshole for calling my husband delusional for demanding I give him 50% profit of my business that he didn't support? My husband, 35 male, is a bank clerk and I, 29 female, have WFH job, which I barely bear since I'm an active outdoor person and like doing gardening stuff in particular. I figured since I have background in gardening, I decided to use our spacious backyard to grow flowers and sell them online after arranging and organizing them into bouquets. When I brought this up with my husband, he said this was the worst idea ever, adding this would be major waste of time and money and suggested that I just go ahead and look for a second job. I didn't listen to him and I started my business little by little. In a matter of 18 months, it started bringing decent money and I gained customers. My husband offered to look at how much I was able to make in the past months and he was impressed. The other day, he was standing with his drink while I was checking my flowers. He talked about what a good job I was doing keeping quote unquote our business quote unquote flowing. I corrected him about it being our business and reminded him about how little faith he had in my potential to make decent money out of growing, selling, and cutting the flowers. He was like, quote unquote, well, I didn't honestly think your little gardening hobby was going to get anywhere, but now that business is flourishing, I want my fair share of profit and I won't settle for anything less than 50%. I was puzzled and I asked why he thought he should get any share of profit, let alone 50%. His answer was that I was using his soil to grow my flowers on. I told him that this is our house, our soil, not just his, since we're married and both our names are on the title. He was like, actually, I owned this house long before you came along, so technically it's my house. I replied that he must be aware it'll be split in half in case of separation. He laughed and joked about how silly I was for hinting separation just because he was for something that he so richly deserves, which is 50% of the profit. I said no, and that he was delusional to ask because even his soil alone doesn't magically grow my flowers. There's a lot of work to it from picking, buying seeds, taking time, effort to care for them, collecting, trimming, and selling them while all he does is sit back. I said it didn't matter to him when I started using, quote unquote, his soil. So why now? He said it always matters when money is involved. We had an argument about it and he apologized, but only for approaching the subject rudely, but still wants 50%. He's been silent about it since after stating that he already said what he needed to say and I needed to make the right decision. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for wanting to sue my husband's sister for losing my $2,000 camera at the beach? My 26 female sister-in-law, 20 female, moved in with me and my husband weeks ago because of problems with her boyfriend. She isn't planning on going back till he apologizes, even though she broke his Xbox device in an argument. I'm a blogger. I have a small space in our apartment, sort of like my office, but very small, where I work for hours. Sister-in-law always enters the room and takes stuff and not return them, resulting in me replacing them till I got a lock. 
She was going to the beach with some friends to let off some steam and asked if she could borrow my $2,000 video camera to record the trip, but I declined and explained that I was working in the weekend and I would need it. I got done with my project and left my camera at the desk. When I woke up the next day at 9 a.m. and had a shower, then breakfast, I entered my office and didn't find my camera. I freaked out and my husband told me to calm down because his sister took it with her to the beach. He assured me that it was in safe hands, but I kept worrying about it and I was really upset by the fact that she took it and he gave her the key to my office. She got back at 7 p.m. and she was pissed, talking about how she got in a fight with her boyfriend after seeing him with someone at the beach and it ruined her day. She started crying loudly and cussing him out. I asked for my camera back. She said she didn't have it. She left angry after the encounter and forgot her sunglasses, cream, hat, and my camera at the beach. Her friend, Aiden, picked some of the stuff up and brought it back, but the camera apparently got stolen. I started yelling, calling her irresponsible and reckless, and this was a two thousand dollar camera she left behind she started apologizing then tried to blame it on her now ex-boyfriend for getting her into a fight with the girl he was with i said i need the camera for my work and she had to replace it like yesterday my husband got involved and said it wasn't her fault it got stolen and suggested I get a cheaper camera from Amazon for now until I can afford to buy a new one. I said, what? Why should I buy a replacement when it was his sister who lost it? She took it without permission and was responsible for whatever happened afterwards. He tried to make excuses for her being an emotional mess I said, I have no problem suing her. He asked if I was serious and I said yes, because I've worked so hard to get this camera and my work's always been known to be of high quality. So for him to suggest a cheap camera from Amazon was so offensive. He said he was just trying to help her fix the problem, but I said he was just helping his sister avoid responsibility. Both my husband and his sister aren't speaking to me anymore, so suddenly claiming they're giving me time to calm down, where in fact they're cold-shouldering me, making me feel guilty for saying that. I'm not sure if doing this will be morally the right thing to do, since she's my family, as my husband says. Am I the asshole? Edit. There have been suggestions of Aiden taking my camera. I thought the same thing. When I tried asking my sister-in-law to speak to Aiden, she shut me down immediately and was insulted, saying that she trusts Aiden with her entire life. Am I the asshole for how I responded after my husband asked why I'm being so unladylike in front of my whole family? To begin, I'd like to mention that my husband, 39, is the breadwinner. He works in airlines as a pilot, always working, while I am a stay-at-home mom taking care of our home and our three kids, five years old, three years old, and six months. Lately, we've been having a few arguments with him complaining about me not taking care of myself looks and being always busy with chores and whatnot we got invited to my parents house last night once we sat down for dinner mom sister and i started talking about preparations for my sister's wedding my sister talked about her hair makeup dress etc 
My husband kept giving me looks and raising his eyebrow whenever the words haircut, makeup, or new dress got brought up. He decided to pitch in the conversation and started openly criticizing my current look and how unladylike I've become recently, especially after our third child was born. He went on commenting on how much he'd like me to change my hair color, get my nails done, or buy new nice dresses to wear like the other wives do for once. I was stunned, mouth wide open, and so were my parents. My brother-in-law was laughing secretly, and my sister was looking at me head to toe in a poor sister type of way. My husband didn't stop at that and ranted about how I should start taking care of us and be more energetic, positive, outgoing, sexy, and so on and so on. Then he looked at me and asked why I've come to be so unladylike all of a sudden and kept looking at me in a whatever happened to you, what changed type of way. I was mad to say the least. I loudly said, behind every unladylike miserable woman, there's a trashy negative asshole man. And pointed out what changed and that is him not pulling enough weight. In childcare, delaying, making excuses, and putting house chores upon me constantly while he posts on Facebook about what amazing work he does to provide for us. I cook, clean, wash, do laundry, get up with the baby, and feed, and change, and bathe, and so on. He reminded me that I'm the stay-at-home parent, and he's the moneymaker. I've pointed out that there are a lot of dads who are the money makers and still do their part as a partner and as a parent. He was stunned, dumbfounded, as everyone was looking at him in an awkward, embarrassing way. He got quiet for the rest of the visit, just looking down and avoiding eye contact with everyone in the room. When we got into the car, he blew up on me, asking what the hell possessed me to go off on him like that in front of his in-laws, who now have a very false, very misleading impression of him. He said, no matter what happens, I should never share our private issues with family. I reminded him of who brought it up first and he called me petty for making a scene to get back at him for only giving me some quote unquote innocent advice. So he's sulking right now, but did I go too far? Am I the asshole for how I responded after my husband asked why I'm being so unladylike?